is going on guys it is your boy Sessa here there's a video here today where you guys really cool i guess you would say illustrator mainly but there's a little bit of photoshop in here too um tutorial here today so you guys how to make it your own really cool uh like urban brush stroke sort of logo designs and uh, my inspiration for this would be the 100 of these logo i don't know why i'm so obsessed with that logo um but like it's really cool right so uh here's it just so you guys can get a look of it right so my inspiration was sort of having like really cool brush stroked um you know accents to your lines and whatnot so it makes it look like it's very like abstract like kind of urban kind of really just cool with, like it's just like written out in like a really cool script uh, like way i had a client who previously approached me with this logo and i was just like hey is there a way we can like resemble this in a certain way and i was just like i actually don't know entirely how to do it but we figured it out <laughs> in the long run and not in it's not that i didn't know how to do it it was just kind of having it perform and be a little bit faster and quicker rather than just really being really minuscule with the the way that a brush stroke would actually act um, rather than actually, you know, kind of like doing it by hand and you know, you won't really get that aesthetic feeling that you know It does when you, ca you have to be like a brush font and whatnot. So that's where this comes in handy, right? So we have uh, This is our little example here. I just made a C logo um, Really quickly just like, you know, kind of just scripted out as you guys saw in the uh, Photoshop and whatnot Just get a little C logo I guess I put a little two dashes on it and we're gonna call it claw, right? Because it's like a little scratch. Um But yeah, as you can see this has this really cool little uh, little feel to it and it's just like it just gives it a little bit more of a character to it and i think it's really cool for if anyone wants to you know have that you know i guess ability to go ahead and perform with like a really cool brush stroke logo it's really something to have in your arsenal right and uh keep in mind as well that i'm using only one font of like literally millions of different brush kind of fonts you can use to to help illustrate this concept so keep that in mind as well anyway i'm gonna start off inside photoshop for you guys we're just gonna move into there just going quickly just really quick little rundowns um that way we kind of get that whole thing started and just run it into uh illustrator it's really it's a really tedious process but it's so much quicker rather than uh kind of like really just trying to like make your mind think abstract by also trying to make a a certain thing it's really difficult trust me and i'm gonna make it seem a little bit easier for you guys so let's go ahead and just jump into photoshop and let's get this thing going okay so as for my quick rundown inside photoshop i do have my tablet in hand by the way it's like the the 70 dollars sort of best buy tablet you guys would get um it's just what is i forgot what it's called but it's a wacom like in into how do you say it? something i you guys know what i'm talking about however right so let me go ahead and just show you guys really quickly how i would go about it now i have this really cool brush i literally cannot remember where i found this brush because i remember it took me literally an hour to find a brush that kind of like like in my mindset had it and i had something in my mind right and uh it took me forever to find it it, just, it starts with pap underscore zero i will give you guys this one i'll make sure i reference it i'll try to find it <laughs> I hope there's like a, a direct download link I can like see in the uh, .abr brush um, file. Um, but yeah, this is the brush that I use. And this brush here, by the way, you don't really need a tablet. However, you know, just having one is just a little bit more handy for you. I mean, you can still kind of illustrate, like this is me doing the C again. You know, you can still kind of illustrate the same thing if you just have like a nice steadier hand, I would say, right, for your, um, with your mouse and whatnot. So you don't really need a tablet. You can still create some very, very cool, uh, you know, abstract, you know, kind of fun looking, uh, brush uh, sort of you know logos and whatnot which is kind of like free handing it if you guys wish to but I did do it using the actual brush that it's located right here now I'll leave that in the description for you guys to use and all that good stuff and now like yeah I'm just using my tablet now and you kind of just see it gets a little more smoother it's it a little more fun you can kind of like you know really work your angles work your pretty much everything when it comes to like kind of having that like literal freedom of of that that actual hand motion right rather than trying to do it with uh uh, a mouse so if there's an investment you want to have i would think you know a, a tablet is definitely it there's no way um you don't you don't know you need it until you don't have it kind of thing right so yeah that's pretty much like really all i really want to go ahead and illustrate for you guys um but i already have this claw thing right i'm going to use the same exact one as before so not to waste our waste our time trying to make something else up um because it's literally just i just kind of made it up right so i want to go ahead and just kind of say once you kind of finish drawing it whatever right? like we're just doing a and like a b Try to make it look cool, right? Let's just do A B. This is an A B logo. Someone's like, hey, I, I want an A B logo and I want to uh <clears throat> excuse me, I want to go ahead and just kind of make this look like a brush kind of thing like thing. And then for example, uh a hundred of these logo or a hundred of these logo or this like claw little logo here, right? So the way I would go about this is uh by the way, if you have multiple layers, uh if you because if you want to do like some little accents like I'm about to try to do for a second, like just little little accent marks right here and here and there and whatnot. Kind of having like little things if you guys want to you know have fun with it and whatnot but if you do have multiple layers just merge them all together right because we're going to be doing is i'm going to take my claw i'm going to press Control j and then Control e Control j is going to actually uh duplicate the entire group for us and then Control e is going to merge it all together and then all you would have to do is actually just take this uh claw copy <clears throat> throw it right into illustrator 
as a matter of fact. We'll turn off this so it's a white background because we have a, a black brush. We'll turn that off the claw example as well. And let's go ahead. <clears throat> Actually, is it inside this? Yeah, the image is inside the example. So let's drag that out here. Uh, it's locked. Okay, relax. Let's uh, open it and drag it in there. There we go. Now, so if I were to go ahead and take this, and we're going to make this a little bit bigger, right? Cool. What you can do is image trace it. This is uh, this is one of those things that uh, I kind of don't do very often, but when it comes to like these kind of logos, it would help out quite a bit, right? If you kind of had a, a quick vector of it and also kind of keep that brush-like feel to it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just click on this image here. <clears throat> we're going to go to Object, uh, Image Trace, Make and Expand. And immediately it just takes... Uh, you, you could, you, is there, there is a table with this, right? I forgot how to uh, open the, t the table, but there's a table. If you have a certain color, <clears throat> my voice is like going for some reason. If you have a certain color that you want to kind of pick out, there's a way to, of course, like, uh, how do you say, uh, different, 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 Difference, uh, differentiate. Oh, that must be it. <laughs> differentiate. That's a hard fucking word. Okay, let's go ahead and just. Like, <laughs> okay, whatever. Anyway, there's a way to uh, help yourself and uh, pick the right color for it. Um, until then, right? This is a very, very simple way to, of course, kind of quickly leave that same little. Maybe if you had like a certain brush, kind of a, uh, I guess, like you know, wiggle and whatnot, or brush, kind of accent or whatever like you know you have a nice little flow to it doing this would be just very simple very easy for you and uh, as well just so you guys know there's a white background still behind this right so we got to get rid of that as well okay so <clears throat> now that we have this part done this is pretty much like the that cool part this actually looks pretty cool as well like i'm not even gonna lie like that does look pretty badass and if you kind of like look over here at the uh the hundred things logo if we just zoom in a little bit you can kind of see the resemblance of the matter of fact that they probably did use image trace and whatnot right i'm not gonna call out or whatever it's just i'm just literally kind of like referencing as what i kind of see and they might have used image trace i feel like it'd be a good idea as well to use it as well so right so we kind of have this look right here right but you're gonna say to yourself i kind of want it to look a little bit more cooler a little bit more aesthetic and we're, uh, i'm gonna need some kind of really cool font now of course i told you guys in the brush pack uh brush mm, the font pack we're gonna be using this beautiful font called cog font right it's up here now the reason why i chose this font because I, I i personally wanted this font and I went to their client and I was like, hey, is this a, a nice little, because we were looking at the ends of the font, right? I'm looking at currently the ends of the font, you know, some of the side marks here. <laughs> and it was like, yeah, that's perfect. That's exactly what I'm kind of looking for. So me thinking this would be incredibly difficult to uh, try to illustrate and get perfectly right, you know, and make it look as abstract and, and as still as clean as possible as like a brush would. That blew my mind. I was like, there's no entire way that we'd be able to illustrate this the way it, it, it should be, right? So using a font is not a bad deal. So of course, if I would, if I were you, if I would check up uh, Kong font, if you guys don't have it already, if you guys didn't download it in my brush pack, I'm um, keep saying brush pack, my uh, font pack. However, if you guys want to, you of course go into font.com and type in like uh, brushes, like brush fonts and whatnot. You get some really cool ones as well. This is just one that apply, uh, you know, kind of applied to me, and I really like this one as well. So if I were to go and look at my, uh, if I were to go ahead. And I look at my logo here, and I'm going to say there's a couple curves here that maybe I, uh, if I, you know, put in a C, I'll get something like right here, uh, where I can kind of have that part on this right uh, left-hand side here kind of curve here. But maybe that's not enough. Maybe a J would work here for this little hook right here is what I would say, right? And I already, of course, I already kind of went through it and kind of know the letters that I want to go for. But you can just kind of like envision a, a certain amount of um, letters that kind of have the curve that you're probably looking for to have that applied uh, naturally, right? So, of course, an E here, right? To kind of have that, so we have these little E marks here. But except for having the same exact little, uh, how would you say, like the exact same E marks that are going on over here, because you have, you see how C has a little bit different mark here. You see how J has a little bit of different mark here. Let's go ahead and just type in like, uh, <clears throat> I forgot what I did actually, but let's go ahead and see X. Maybe X has a different like little part there. Maybe uh, M does. Right, you'll just kind of kind of go through and let me say L. Mm, L has the same one as well. U, okay. So U, it seems like it has a lot more longer strokes here, but it's definitely different than the E and the U here, right? So this is where, of course, having multiple fonts or multiple different letters, and hopefully, I mean, hopefully you have multiple letters in the font uh, itself, but, you know, just kind of having that be a, a game plan, right? So I'm going to go ahead and start off with the E first. We're just going to start off with the E. 
we're gonna make this fairly big for now right and if you guys did not know already I'm just gonna take it that so I can just have that always on hand and uh, pretty much if I click over here if you guys don't know already you can create a uh, font into an actual object by just going to object expand just like so uh, make sure the expand object is on and the expand fill is on you press ok and as you guys can see you guys will have now a vectorized version of the font itself so you see some of these little floaty pieces here I'm gonna delete these for now I don't want to have too many floaty pieces to kind of like uh, manage and handle right some of these little smaller ones are probably like not realistic to have inside uh, your, uh, your 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 logo right because it's not gonna be able to be seen too well right so we're gonna just take some of these things out but uh, just say it right there it's pretty good now I'm gonna go ahead and take my pen tool and I'm gonna say I'm gonna we want this right hand side of the E right so I'm gonna go ahead and just take my pen tool kind of just kind of just make it like a little slash going down right this little separation here is very very common it's just kind of like you know hey this indicates when I go ahead and highlight if I press a and I highlight these two things it indicates that there's two different shapes going on here now because we have a slash going through with the pencil mark that we just created so if I were to go to Windows and go ahead and go to Pathfinder you'll see if I go ahead oh not Pathfinder you're gonna need all that stuff in a second but I don't know why I said that but just that's also a thing you want to have um, but a shape uh, shape builder tool which is shift M on your keyboard which is located right here is the way to kind of help your uh, illustrator you know cut things out that are separated right or you want to separate or or you want to you know take out or apply a different object to whatever you guys understand right so there's a plus button right here and if you hold alt there's a minus button. so if I were to click it would actually delete it if I hold uh, nothing and I just click just like I'm going to right now on this right hand side it'll go ahead and separate the shapes for us and there we have this right so I want to kind of I'll say I'll, I'll leave all this extra extra stuff and I'll just take everything that's pretty much what I would probably want right which is really all just the, the stuff that's connected that's already vectorized and all that good stuff um I'm gonna go ahead now and this is where the tricky part comes in, right? So the the whole keeping it natural thing is going to be really, really hard. Um, that's why uh, I guess keeping the right fonts in uh, mind would help, you know, kind of lining up certain uh, like lines right here so it kind of like flows better. But then you have all this empty space here. So you might have to just say, hey, let's just say if we hold control and then you naturally you hold shift, right? And like make it bigger and smaller. But this time I'm going to kind of flirt with it around and kind of make it bigger and smaller on our own see what happens if you just throw it over here right and I'm gonna highlight this entire thing I'm gonna say we can actually cut out with a shape builder tool right holding alt cut out some of these spots here and if you see like it's really you can see how it's a really big like uh, bulge of you know black going on here and you want to say hey that doesn't really look that brush mark that we want to have highlight it all again you can take it hold alt get inside here delete some of the stuff that you think needs to be deleted if you want to have a little more extra here you want to have it flow into here or you want to have it flow into there or you just want to have certain little things float just like so um like a like a paintbrush would right you would have like certain spots that didn't get painted over but then you can get something like this right and this looks way more natural way just way fun i guess you would say uh how do you say way fun all right let's use english but you know just more natural and a, a very appealing you know a urban kind of look to it and it kind of looks really really nice right so that's like the one part of the e and we just kind of like expanded a little bit just holding control and just kind of figuring things out and i would just do it one more time but this is pretty much the the rinse and repeat process that you guys would go with i'm gonna delete this one we're gonna take this we're gonna type in let's just say g is pretty cool um s is bleh hmm i think we're just gonna go with uh like a little bit of a C here and just so you cut this out and kind of have that be on the the, the uh, C that we have so okay we're gonna take a C object expand because I, I kind of forgot the letter that I was going for but whatever we're gonna take the pen tool split that in half just like so again highlight it like before shift M on our keyboard for the shape builder tool which is located right here once again click on it take it out we're gonna leave all the extra flingy floggy stuff because that's not gonna be really illustrating and really to see that very well in a logo anyway so we're gonna take this now I'm gonna just go ahead and flip it uh, vertically no yes vertically I was right realized okay so I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can like kind of have it just a little extra something something going on at this little curve here All right we're trying to make it look a little fun kind of have the expand maybe up a little bit more okay let's see if we want to maybe do a little more as well All right so you got something like this. We're just gonna overlap it. Then I'm gonna go ahead and highlight it again with the A tool, which is basically what is that A tool called again? The uh, selection tool, right? Direct, yeah, direct selection tool. And I'm gonna press Shift M, take the Shape Builder tool, and like just cut in some of these spots. I'm gonna delete this. I don't really, really want that. Uh, maybe we want to have something like fun going on, like 
uh, like in here. Maybe a little something going on here and here. That would look pretty cool for like a C. It gotta get rid of a lot of things though. Jeez. That's alright. Alright, that was my phone by the way. Um let's see. Maybe like making it a little bit more skinnier. Kind of getting in here. But this is like the literal the tedious part, right? And if I kind of wish I had it a little more, you know, uh, in my mindset what I was gonna go for, but this is actually not bad at all. This little hard curve here, we'll just curve it in with the uh, the good old, I don't even know what this tool would be called officially, but like the curve angle tool, sure, we're gonna call it that. Or you can just like delete some points here and see if we can get, you know, a nice, uh, something that looks disgusting. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're gonna go into here again, take the minus tool, or if I'm gonna press minus on my keyboard, and then we got something a little bit better going on here. It's a little bit better. We can get in here again, kind of delete this kind of stuff here. Let's make more natural marks, right? Take this again. Maybe we'll make this little curve a little bit better. But yeah, it's a little bit too tedious for me to do at the moment. But as you can see, that C looks pretty cool now. Like a nice little backsplash curve that's going in here with a little brush mark. And you can just keep on going. You know, you can keep on going. Like right here would be a one that I would apply to. Um, up here, I'd apply to as well. Can I just take a brush and kind of circle? Yeah, like up here, I'd apply to. Over here, like we can do some really cool things over here as well. And like you, of course, probably do the same thing with the E over there. And if you want to, you see how like the the back of some of these letters have these really fun little uh, sort of like rivet kind of patterns going on. You can definitely just apply that kind of stuff over on the you know the sides of the logos if you guys wanted to do that as well. But here's for my example, so you can see it once again, right? And it's just really fun, really cool. It's a really attractive way to go ahead and just go approach your logos and stuff like that. If you were, it's just really cool to have in the back of your play. If you you had a client who was just like, uh, can I have something that looks like this? And you're just not entirely sure how to do it without you know putting an excessive amount of time in it or just getting the exact look that they might have had if they showed you a font. And you'd be like, hey, I can actually make a, a custom letter and then apply the font that you gave me and kind of give you know that you know abstract sort of brush look to it and kill the game. So. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video here today. It was very fun, very cool, right? I think it was a really cool thing just to have in your book as a logo designer and stuff. And uh, just have fun with it. I, the brush, by the way, I'll put it in the description down below, like I said before. And uh, yeah, if you guys end up using it, please tweet at me, at SwitchQ. If you have anything really cool that just kind of like applied to this tutorial and you were like, dude, look at this, what I did. Show me, okay? Also, if you guys haven't already, follow me on my Twitch, right? We have been streaming on Twitch for the past six days, uh, every single day, which is pretty cool, for about four, uh, about three to four hours. Um, not bad at all. We're just working for the affiliate, and uh, we have over there like around 40, 70 average view. It's very, it kind of varies a bit, a uh, bit what we do. But uh, if you guys want to go ahead and just check me out, have more and more, uh, I guess, more content, more live content, get to know me more, go ahead and follow my Twitch and all that good stuff. Uh, it's also slash the switch right? Dot TV slash the switch So thank you guys so much for watching. If you leave a like on the video, don't forget to comment down. Anything you want to see me do personally do, uh, that was weird. Personally do, you know what I meant. <laughs> anyway, I'm done. I'm very, very, I feel good today. And I hope you guys feel as great as possible and you have a great weekend and you have, or had a great weekend, right? It's going to be uploaded on Sunday, but you also have a great uh, week as well ahead of you. So please kill the game. Love yourselves, all that good stuff. Uh, I guess keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking productive, guys. Later. Let's switch you out. Peace.